it's a positive energy we feel. That's my impression from my uh, visits in German towns. This is uh, a traditional, um, very intensive cooperation between Krakow and uh, Nuremberg, which is an example for more Polish towns. And it's a hope that we can do something for, for, for Europe and also uh, to learn how to deal with uh, history. So uh, can you tell us a little bit about the relationship between Krakow and Nuremberg? How has, uh, uh, how has the cultural exchange between the two cities taken shape? I think it's one of the closest twinnings that we have uh, between Nuremberg and Krakow. It started not with cultural exchange, it started with youth exchange. This was the first platform to create uh, the official twinning of the cities. We have uh, very close historic relations in fine arts, if you uh, take Feitstoß, Wittstoß. Um, and we had many uh, relations in uh, also fine arts, in jazz, uh, in, in music. The greatest late Gothic artist, Wittstoß, or as he's known in Polish, Wittstoß, got his start right here in Nuremberg. This is where he learned his craft. Uh, however, his greatest works were done in Krakow, uh, with the basically the biggest highlight of his work being the altar of St. Mary's Church, which at its time was the lar single largest altarpiece uh, in the whole world. And thus, the connections between Nuremberg and Krakow go back a long, long time. Relationship with uh, Krakow is one of the oldest uh, relationships, and I think it's perhaps the best relationship we have. Um, and that's due to the fact that uh, I think we have um, um, a relationship uh, of centuries between our cities. So in the medieval time, um, handcraftsmen, uh, artists, uh, and of course, uh, tradesmen. Uh, came to Nuremberg, they went to Krakow and the other way. So we tried very hard uh, to become uh, friends, uh, to have relationships in all uh, uh, terms of life. Uh, we had uh, exchange of, of artists, of journalists, of uh, scientists, of just normal people. To jest właśnie to, co ja uważam za najbardziej interesujące, że się ludzie spotykają i na tym się nie kończy. Szczególnie właśnie artyści są bardzo często otwarci na tutejszych artystów. To środowisko w jakiś sposób bardzo szybko nawiązuje kontakt i potem powstają wspólne projekty, tak jak na przykład Axel Gerke i Jacek Pasieczny, malarz z Krakowa i malarz z Norymbergi którzy spotkali się tutaj. Polak malował właściwie norymberskie pejzaże, a Niemiec malował krakowskie pejzaże. Yeah, my friend Jacek told me a lot when he was here about Krakow and um, Bardzo to było interesujące spotkanie. I like the city a lot because it's uh, not very uh, it's somehow similar to Nuremberg because they are both um, very old cities. What do you think is the most special thing about the relationship right now? I think it's the, the in intensity of our relationship and uh, the best symbol of that intensity is uh, uh, the fact that we have, uh, we call it uh, friendship houses. We have a Nuremberg house in Krakow, Don Nuremberg, and we have a Krakow house here in Nuremberg. What caused you to come uh, to Germany from Poland? Jazz music. So why, Nure why Nuremberg and how long have you been here and why did you end up here? I haven't end up here. Uh, I live in Munich. I just came for, for a concert here. I'm playing at least once a year here in this wonderful place. Yeah.
Jacek and me, we became friends and when he studied here, he was from Krakow and he did paintings um, with uh, like sites and architecture of Nuremberg and I went to Krakow and did the same thing the other way around. So we had the idea to uh, do a project together. The only place here in Nuremberg was the uh, um, Dom Krakowski. Now, two months ago, we did the exhibition in, um, uh, in Leipzig, in the uh, Polish Institute. And next year, uh, we will uh, do the exhibition in Krakow in the um, Otwarta Pracownia. So everything happened. How did you like the concert tonight? enjoyed it very much. <laughs> it was great. It was very great. Yeah. Uh, I liked it because I, I play and a band myself. Have you been here before? No. Or? no. I've been here before for, for, for lunch, but it's the first cultural event for me. And do you plan on coming back to see another show? I think so, yes. Do you plan on coming back? Yes, definitely. I come here oftener because um, more often because my father knows the people here. And it's um, important that not only the young people who have practically no personal history, that they of course meet, come together is very important. But on, on the side of these elder, older people it's as well um, important uh, to try to speak Polish. That's a much better situation between human beings if they can talk together. The city of Krakow as one of our twinning cities has a very huge place in my heart. Mm -hmm.